Thanks for your company. The details now. The execution of some government contracts are delayed as a result of some underhand dealings, and this has been uncovered in an investigative piece dubbed Contracts for Sale, revealing how such contracts are put up for sale. The documentary put together by freelance journalist Manasseh Azuri Awuni also exposes those behind it. The full piece is tonight on Joe News Prime, but here's a teaser. That will either sole source or procure through restrictive tender. The Akufu Adu administration has made savings of 2.75 billion. This is the contract for the construction of this road. How I came by this contract is both intriguing and disturbing. If I understand you, we are having companies who are operating like the Guru Boys, so more or less a Guru company. My goodness, <laughs> go save this country. This is the check. So that was produced by Manasseh Azuri Awune. He joins us via Skype now uh, with more on this. Hello, Manasseh. Tell us the purpose of this investigation and uh, what you hope to achieve with it. Well, Benis, as with other investigations we have done in the past, it has to do with uh, trying to go behind the scenes to find out what is actually happening with regards to those people who have been entrusted with the power to take decisions on our behalf and also to spend the money uh, we all raise. So in this case, we try to go behind what has been touted as achievements in the procurement sector to find out what is actually happening. Are the contractual processes so clean? Is it that we are losing nothing? And why are some contracts awarded? And then at the end of the day, we have to spend uh, huge sums of money repairing roads and uh, buildings that are built a year or two. Mm. Manasseh, so this is airing later tonight. Tell us what to expect. What are we likely to see in this? Benis, I can say that we're likely to see evidence that contracts are sold. We are also likely to see evidence of state actors or persons who are supposed to ensure that these things are not done, uh, perhaps linked to this disturbing trade. So there are two main things, evidence that contracts are sold and also evidence that some persons or person uh, who are supposed to be in charge, who are supposed to resolve these issues, uh, are playing a role in a way. Manasseh, you've produced quite a number of investigative pieces. Some we followed up on, expecting some reaction from state agencies and institutions. Beyond the expose, what are you hoping that this documentary will achieve uh, for the country? I hope that certain decisions will be taken and that leadership will be shown so that if there is a contractual process, whoever is taking part would know that they can win fairly. Whoever is taking part would also know that if I take this contract and I'm not able to deliver, there will be sanctions. So at the end of the day, I expect uh, somebody to set up. And if for nothing at all, some people should know that if they are involved in certain shady deals, uh, sooner or later, the whole nation will get to know what they are doing because there's a quote attributed to Kwame Nkrumah who, uh, which uh, says that one of the best ways of 
fighting corruption is to incite public opinion against those acts of corruption and also persons who are involved in it. So if for nothing at all, some people should be able to know that if I'm entrusted with the power of the state to do certain things, I cannot do it anyhow and then get away with it because whatever happens, one day the spotlight will be on me. So with the, 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 that knowledge, I'm very sure uh, not everybody would repent, but some people will be able to set up and put a stop to certain actions that are detrimental to the development of our country. Finally, before you go, Manasseh, are we going to see persons who are uh, caught on tape in engaging in some of these activities? Are we likely to, or are we going to see them respond to uh, uh, what they've done? Are we putting it to them? Are we seeing that in this piece? Exactly, Benis. What I do in my investigations is that any time I get something, I go back to the people and say that, look, this is what I have about you. I am going to publish. What do you have to say about that? So we're going to see all of that. We're also going to see some questions and answers, very interesting sessions where people are going to be asked tough questions and their responses are going to be interesting, Benis. Thank you very much, Manasi Azuria Winnie, as always. Uh, we wish you all the best, but that's my colleague, uh, former colleague, I beg your pardon, Manasi Azuria Winnie, the a freelance journalist now. And um, that documentary is showing later tonight on Joy News Prime. You want to make a date with us? Contracts for sale.